so I don't know uh, some of you older subscribers would have seen this little grass trimmer here. But uh, for those of you who haven't, it is a propane model I got. I bought it at a yard sale for 50 bucks about, uh, I bet you four years ago maybe, maybe less, maybe more. Anyway, it's a four stroke, it takes propane bottle. Um, virtually nothing wrong with it. From what I understand, they were sold at places like Canadian Tire, Walmart, maybe a few other places I'm not sure of. But they had a recall on them, they, they bought them all back, or as many as they could because this hose... If the tank wasn't put in properly and, and the tank was turned over here, it would rub a hole in the hose, I believe, and then you'd have a fire. If you're conscious of that, I think they're quite safe myself, but that's just me. Anyway, they came with a grass, uh, they had a grass, uh, a string, a string trimmer on it. But I ended up getting a hold of this here off another, another trimmer. But anyway, these little, these little steel uh, tines, I guess you'd call them. I went out them and I sharpened them with the chainsaw file and give you a little demonstration on how this cuts once you sharpen these up. Now, I don't know how sharp they are when they're new because I got that used, but anyway, we'll see if she'll start. I haven't had it running for a while. Anyway, we'll go find a tree. Come on. Let's go see what we Just those metal tines sharpened up. I don't know how sharp they are when you first buy them in the store. But anyway. So it's like when you sharpen those. It was just an experiment, but. I know it's I know it's not good on the uh, little unit that drives it, but you know, it's in my way. Stop spinning. It can be hard on fingers. <clears throat> anyway, that's what uh, that's what it's like. You see, you get a good video of that. I just sharpen that with a chainsaw file. I fine tune them a little bit because uh, oh no, I thought maybe I could improve on it a little bit. Maybe I didn't. Maybe I did. But I know the brush don't get in my way anymore. And it was going through a lot of string through some of this heavy stuff out here. I thought, well, I'll try this on here. I, I jimmy rigged this unit to fit on here, and as you can see, tree gets in my way, it's gone. <laughs> okay, folks. Anyway, yeah, fist cars. I don't know what brand they're using. I think they're made by uh, Lear. Lair. I don't know how you you say that. You see there, L E H R. Good brand, I like them. And very easy to start. Well, usually anyway. I just stick my whole finger in the carburetor to shut her off. Usually a little bit of throttle because 
I don't have the breather on it, but anyway. Look at that. I'm going to shut it off. <laughs> Plug the hole. <laughs> anyway, yeah, it just takes propane bottle. I love it. I usually run a propane bottle like that uh, for the amount of trimming I do. I go through about two of those in a summer. It's a lot cheaper, I find, than running gasoline and mixed gas or just straight gas. You see the muffler's barely got any coloring on it. I don't think it's got too many hours on it. When I bought it, it looked like brand new. So, Okay, folks. Thanks a lot. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.